All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. All right, so here he is, one of the better boxers in this division. Certainly has a well-rounded MMA skill set, but it's hard to lead the walk with anything other than the hands, which might be the best in this division. Especially when you look at some of the highlights, right? You look at him landing that jab, and it's almost picture perfect. The jab lifts the head, the right hand follows, and guys are going to sleep. Yeah. I would love to be considered a boxer if I had the skills yeah. that this young man possesses. Be happy, because you spent a lifetime developing it, and now it puts you on the cusp of UFC superstar. He looks as comfortable throwing a jab as I do, like, folding a slice <laughs> of pizza in half, you know? <laughs> All right, here he is, DC. In my mind, this is the most dominant force in the MMA game today, the undisputed UFC lightweight champion, your AKA teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov. Yeah, and for Khabib, it's the well-rounded skill set that has propelled him to one of the longest undefeated streaks in mixed martial arts history. No missteps, no mistakes, no underestimation of opponents. Always prepared, always ready to go, and he can rely on his the coaching he gets, also on the ability that he has to carry him to victory time and time again. Wrestling, Sambo, Jiu-Jitsu, striking, the guy has it all. I know you listed striking last, but your head coach, Javier Mendez, says sometimes he's going southpaw yeah. in training. We haven't seen just how good a striker he is. We saw shades in the McGregor fight. Yes. But not complete. But technically, he has so many skills that he has not even displayed to the MMA community yet. All right, another big spot for Khabib Nurmagomedov here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age, with big differences in height and reach. And once again, Ladies here is the veteran voice of the this Octagon, Bruce Buffett. of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. The great! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib the Eagle, You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it a fight. with his opponent, right? If he can make contact, he can drag this fight to the mat. I expect the striker to try and maintain range with his jab, with his kicks, to make this a stand-up affair. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Oh, a little single collar tie there. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by a muscle. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Elbow blocked by Nurmagomedov. Single collar tie now. 
Oh, he got that knee up to the head. Oh, that's a nice strike there by Nurmagomedov. Yeah, Habib Nurmagomedov is not only a wrestler, he's a full-on mixed martial artist now, and it showed in that exchange. Yeah, he mixed it all up. And there's the shot, and there's the land. Nice takedown there by Nurmagomedov. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. Nurmagomedov gets caught with that punch. Just misses with the jab there. And now he's got that tight punch. High level MMA defense there, able to avoid the punch. Nice job by Nurmagomedov. Nice uppercut. Three minutes to go. Sneaky head kick. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Blocks the strike. Nice straight right lands. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Cubby. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand his strike with anybody in the UFC. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, made good use of his size there as he lands the flush knee. Big power shot there. Oh, and there's another uppercut. DC, you got a pretty good uppercut. I'm not sure it's as good as his, but pretty good. It's not as good as this guy's, because <laughs> this guy can throw it on both sides, and he throws it with the same amount of power to the body and to the head. He's very, very good at throwing up. And he landed the right hand there. to avoid that left. Nice punch by Nermago Medov. Got the single collar tie. Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. And that one certainly found the target. Oh, beautiful job to lead with the right hand there, DC. The right hand is the money shot, and he will continue to throw it. Oh, I love the jab. I know you love the jab. That was a nice one. It's my favorite punch in all the fights. Flush right hand is true. There's no tell on that leg kick. That's a big strike right there. They continue to exchange. Oh, single collar tie here. I mean, this guy is really focused on those punches to the head inside of the clinch. Punch coming, it's blocked. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Just missed with the left there. 30 seconds now to go in round one. Oh, collar tie. Gets the elbow up into the target. Fifteen seconds to go. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. So he stuffs another takedown there. He talked to us about how hard this training piece was in terms of the defensive wrestling, but he certainly put in the right work. He did a great job of recognizing the threat, understanding that he could not allow his opponent to get to his hips. He never allows his opponent to get to his hips. And because of that, he's been safe. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights for both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. That kick blocked by Nurmagomedov. He loaded up in that right hand, too. Big call for Now we get back to range. Back to 
with a left hand now, unable to connect. Well, you don't want to say Khabib has fallen in love with his striking, but he certainly is boxing more than he did early on in his UFC career. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. All right, so he's landed a few big uppercuts already in DC. I know you're in the prediction business. You think he's going to set it up again? I am certain he's going to try and set that up again. Expect it to come off of a left hook because off the left hook, you don't anticipate the next punch coming right up the middle. He's real good at trying to find that shot. Nurmagomedov going for the takedown here. Nothing doing there. Good punch. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Whiffs on the elbow. Good shot. Oh, he eats the knee there. That does not taste good. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Good body shot. Again, they clinch, and they separate. Oh, nice jab by him there, and I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a Pez dispenser. Every time he tries to go forward and use his own offense, the jab is stopping him in his tracks doing a great job of fighting behind him. He's got to be careful dipping his head and throwing that jab. All right, single collar tie now. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job fighting the range to land those punches. Real quick leg kick. Hard shots landing on both sides here. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. I need you to pay attention. Protect yourself. Just out of range with the big right hand. Oh, man, this guy kicks like a mule. So hard. He kicks so hard every time you see him drive his chin into his opponent. Take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. And they clinch once again. All right, he engages in a single column tie here. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing, Muscle. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Well, from a striking standpoint, he has put it all together tonight. He has landed a ton of significant strikes and pretty easy fight, I would think, for the judges to score. It's a pretty easy fight to score. Tonight was a night where everything went right, and that doesn't happen very often. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job. Of so at long last, he finally lands his first takedown after several failed attempts. You knew coming in that he was going to stay committed to the takedown, kept on trying, and finally got him to the ground. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Fighters back to their feet here. Marco Medoff gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. Oh, outstanding placement as he lands the knee to the body. Again, the taller fighter making noise with a knee strike there. Oh, that'll get his attention. Nice counter on the uppercut. Oh, you got to like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes. He continues to light him up. Got to be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you got to like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. Lands the right hand. Oh, what a punch. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Big overhand right. Ten minutes in the book. All right, there's the horn indicating the end of the round. So potentially a big factor here, ladies and gentlemen. The cut on the cheek sustained in that round. Certainly better to be below than above the eye, but the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up.
Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. All right, here we go with our next round. A lot to be happy about in that previous round. Attacking the head at will, and until his opponent adjusts, might as well go back to it. There was no negative to him headhunting. Most times the coaches yell, don't headhunt, don't headhunt. I'm yelling headhunt. It's right. his because every time he's thrown, he's landing. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Got clip with the right hand. Strong defense there to block the shot. Nice instincts. And they separate. He's able to slip the left. He's digging his entire weight into those punches to the body. Now he's got the Muay Thai club. All working hard here against the fence. We'll see if he can get the takedown. A single collar tie there. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also gonna be able to land. He's gotta be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Slips the punch. Single collar tie now. Battling for hooks. Oh, knee to the head. And there comes the separation now. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. He's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. Nice straight punch. Oh, and he lands another knee there, DC. He talked a lot to us about his length and his size advantage. Doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it certainly did. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the field. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Oh, and he gets tagged. Nice combination there. It might not be a bad idea for the opposition to just tweak that head off yeah. the center. He was landing one before. Now he's throwing everything in combination, and they're all landing. Straight right is there. So make it 161 total strikes and now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. And connecting with a 39% accuracy rate here tonight against Khabib Nurmagomedov. Beautiful punch. Oh, knee to the head, that never feels good. Again, you know, we're a broken record when it comes to this reach advantage, but he lands another punch there. All right, so a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming a mile away. He sees them coming a mile away, and he's blocking, he's rolling, he's slipping. He's doing a great job. Oh, nice job to slip off the center line there. His head movement has been a huge, huge factor defensively in this fight. You can never be a stationary target. So even in the feet aren't moving, you gotta be ready to slip that head at a moment's notice. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. And he connects with a the punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Left punch is true. He's got the single collar tie. Oh, and 
he continues to stop these takedown attempts. Final seconds of round three. Throws the right hand there. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. And that'll do it. 15 minutes in the books. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last one. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a bar fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times where they came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Nice punch there. Leg kick. And that left hook landed on the button. Oh, really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all incoming strikes. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. He's in a good flow right now. He's landing big shots to the body. Sound defensively here as he stays upright. Double leg takedown. Oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's going to break him? All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. I mean, how many can he take? Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Just over three minutes to go. Fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Back to the feet now. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming at him. Great punch landing with so much power. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. Dermago Medov's tough as it gets, but how about the size of that bruise starting to form on his right side? Oh, man, snapped his head back with the uppercut. There. You can see him throw his entire body into that uppercut. And they separate. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Oh, he might be out. Under two minutes now to go. You wonder if the offensive fighter's gonna start to get frustrated here. Most stiffed on all these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defensive fighters in the UFC. Big punch land. Cut to the head. What a body kick. Lands another punch to the head. Slips that left hand. Oh, hook to the head by Nermago Medov. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. 
All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony. Always seeing things coming at him. He's such a great defensive fighter. Left hand punch from the clinch. Nice. Magomedov gets hit by that leg kick. You may want to start checking some of these. Oh, single collar tie here. 30 seconds to go on the round. Oh, that straight punch was useful, champ. Multiple times he's used this punch to get to the target. Oh, collar tie. Beautiful right hook counters. And both guys really throwing with authority. Nice strike. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. All right, another round is now underway. Pretty good previous two rounds. We'll see who makes the requisite adjustments now. The adjustments are going to be the key, John. When you're doing everything you're trained to do, and it stays this close, you got to really switch it up. Wood Corner is able to relay that message to their fighter better in between rounds. Oh! Huge right hand! Who's hurt? Serve him up. Oh, him. he might be out. Nice punch lands over the top. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. And then he lands a nice elbow. All right, single collar oh! tie. Now. here just beautiful movement seamless transitions on them. over and over these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country oh that right hand is on point good movement by him here transitioning very well on the ground tonight step for step he's staying with his opponent in every transition just over three minutes now to go in the fight Three minutes now to go round five. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it. And you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. All right, feet on the hips here. Back to the feet now. Nice punch land. Oh. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Knee to the body. Under two minutes remain in the fight. Medov's all sorts of bruised up on his body. That is gonna hurt something fierce tomorrow. Just misses with a left hook there. All right, well, time is the enemy now, DC, and he's really running out of it if he's gonna get his hand raised tonight. He's gotta go forward. 
He's got to just throw everything at his opponent to try and find that punch or that. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Whoa! And just like that, the fight is over. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. What a fight. You knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short night for his opponent. But that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called to stop for this contest at three minutes, 41 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout, Khabib. Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need to take it to the after party tonight. I mean, this is what dreams are made of. You dream of the knockout like this, and then the party after, where you and all your coaches get to celebrate the great handiwork.